Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back through Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about the overall crypto market. So sit back, relax, and hit that like button as it does help the channel grow immensely. And of course, I always do greatly appreciate it. With that in mind, let's dive in. So first off, I am going to be releasing a ton of content in regards to preparing for this bull run, making sure to keep your emotions in check and things like that. I'm going to be uploading a ton of NFT content as well to the website and cashofficial.com. So if you guys do want to go check that out, you guys are more than welcome to. But today I want to talk to you guys about a lot of things in regards to the current market structure, why a lot of altcoins are most likely either going to take a little bit of a back seat and kind of trade sideways or basically what we could foresee happening in the market as we do kind of range on in this month. On the 24 hour span, we are seeing some altcoins up pretty significantly. Um, Algorand almost up 15% from my video from the other day. I told you guys to jump in this under 60 cents. It is looking pretty good. We are currently sitting at about 66 and a half cents. We hit about 74 cents. So this has been a pretty good overall move here. And I told you guys, you know, during this dip, it was a perfect opportunity, especially down to almost 50 cents. It was absolutely insane. And we recently just dipped again down to about like 58 cents. So this under 60 cents was e it was a perfect opportunity to accumulate. Now, again, Algorand is just one of many altcoins right now that are, you know, kind of doing a little bit of a nice move. But for the most part, a lot of the market is just trading sideways. Now, why is this? Well, we're going to be addressing that. We're going to be talking about that. And then we are obviously going to be talking about where we currently are in terms of the market cycle. So first off, shout out to Rickish Trades here. But we do see here, can you feel it? It's in the air. Now, here we have... Um, a pretty significant overall comparison from the Bitcoin uh, price chart to the Apex MFI slash moving average, and then of course the RSI. So we are looking at the Bitcoin price and we're kind of comparing and contrasting it to even 2018, 2019 before we went on that nice bull run in, of course, the 2020 to 2021 uh, move. More so, we're looking at the point where we are currently, which is kind of in comparison to the 2019 almost the summertime of like 2019 time frame where we did have this nice impulsive move before we went into that sort of bearish structure sideways momentum having that correction uh, down and then we went on another bull run uh very similar you know chart to even the 2020 time frame to 2021 off of those march of 2020 lows if we are looking at this currently from this structural view we would be looking at roughly almost 120k for Bitcoin. Uh, anywhere between like 80 to 120k is more than welcoming. In fact, I don't even care if we go to 120k. The higher Bitcoin goes, the more capital that floods throughout the altcoin market. That's just the welcoming thing to me. I'm not holding Bitcoin right now, so I really don't care how high Bitcoin goes. It's just hey, the higher, the more you know money that flows into alts. But Honestly, I just want to see Bitcoin back above the all-time highs. Anything above the all-time highs is more than welcoming to me. Uh, when we look at things happening, though, in terms of the RSI, the Apex MFI, and of course the price, things look like it's about to boil up and go. Uh, now, of course, somebody asks, what's your invalidation? And we do see that invalidation here. So I know it's hard to stay positive, you know, during this price action and with the markets having a horrible time, this is still valid and on track in my opinion. Uh, we will know if it gets invalidated on the following conditions. The next few weeks will be crucial for me. Stay safe. And yes, I am paying attention to the next couple of weeks as well, specifically this month in general. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I know that it has been rough in the markets. I am not emotional. I am not, you know, biased in terms of bearish or bullish. In fact, I could be neutral at times. I could be bearish at times. But I will say this for anybody out there that is down maybe 90% on an altcoin, maybe 50%, 40%, whatever the case may be, maybe your portfolio is down seven, seventeen thousand, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, whatever the amount that you invested in, okay, and you're down a significant percentage, so am I. Okay, I look at HBAR. I'm down significantly from my profit points. XRP, down significantly from my profit points. The, the main thing that I'm trying to explain to you guys here is that currently on, uh, in terms of market structure, like I know that this looks bad on paper. Your portfolio is completely wrecked. But that's exactly what it needs to look like. For a lot of people... You know, getting wrecked in this market means them just jumping out, taking the loss and, you know, never looking at crypto again. For those individuals that are in this market right now, holding strong, not selling, 
not paper handing it and they are actually hodling through this are going to be the ones that are really going to, you know, I would say thrive off of the current price action. Those entering positions right now on the low end, buying the lows, having the, you know, overall strength to hold through things like this are going to be the ones that are very successful going forward. Now, the reason why I say this is that, you know, we are watching a lot of the charts in this, you know, game right now, specifically the dollar. Now, right now, in terms of the dollar's strength, we are still gaining some momentum here, and we are still building a floor support on, again, the top uh, FIB level from those March of 2020 heights. Now, as we do kind of look at this and we're kind of building here, you know, we could still see that cascading move that caused the 2017-2018 rally, which, again, I'm more than welcoming here because I'm waiting for this to 180. In fact, this is going to be the chart that I watch closely as we do see that massive, you know, upswing in the markets. Of course, I have been watching the U.S. 10-year yield as well. Um, specifically, the reason why I watch this is because this gives us a little bit of a better, you know, sort of move in the markets. Kind of gives us a, a, a macro view on where we are currently, right? The reason why I say this is like, here's the November topping point, like around this time in crypto. Uh, before, of course, this went on a massive downtrend until we started to gain momentum back in January. Now, during this time, yes, crypto has not been, you know, doing massive moves. Um, but this is exactly why I say, like, right now is the time to really position yourself in crypto if you do believe that the bottom is in. In my opinion, I do believe that the bottom is in. I don't think that we go much lower from here. I don't think that we break down below 30K and hit 26K, 28K, like some people are saying. I think that right now we are looking at a major opportunity in this market. While everyone is so fearful they don't want to take positions, I am buying up the fear. Because the 10-year is telling me there is a massive amount of confidence behind, of course, risk on assets. We've seen this back in, you know, even March of 2020. Here's a massive cascading factor in terms of the 10-year, followed by a nice pump. Uh, again, during this time, you know, crypto was going a little bit crazy. There was a lot of money flowing through crypto and even, you know, uh, stocks. But it didn't really start to pick up in terms of crypto, in terms of a bull run until around like the January time frame. And you do see exactly what ended up happening here, right? We started to ride out the massive EMAs all the way until around roughly the March time frame. Now, during this time, a lot of altcoins were still going pretty good. Even Bitcoin was going good. In fact, we didn't top out until around like the May time frame, almost, you know, April time frame on Bitcoin and a lot of altcoins. But you do see exactly what ended up happening here. During the you know uh, summer, when we did see those massive crashing points, look at the 10-year. This is why I'm watching the 10-year closely, as well as the dollar, because both of those charts are very key and crucial for the success of crypto and also even stocks. Now, as we do look at crypto, specifically even Bitcoin and you know even altcoins, we are looking at the past. I know everyone is trying to compare the the past to you know current structures. Obviously, things are not the same. But when we kind of look at the past patterns and kind of compare and contrast it to what we see currently on the chart, it almost looks like we are about to see a massive bull run happen for Bitcoin and the overall market. And I know a lot of people are, con uh, are continuously saying, hey, we are in a bear market, we're in a bear market. I want you guys to understand that there's a ton of metrics to watch for in terms of determining if we are in a bear market or a bull market. In fact, from the plan C here, we do see here the last three previous Bitcoin bear markets were confirmed by NUPL going going below 0.25. We have yet to see that happen. And here we have that current rate at about 0.33. We could see exactly where things are at in terms of the market, in terms of capitulation, hope and fear, optimism and anxiety, belief and denial, and then of course euphoria and greed, which we have not been seeing in terms of euphoria and greed since 2017-2018. We didn't even hit peak euphoria yet at all, which tells me again, when we look at things happening around this market, okay, we have not seen an alt season topping point for anything in terms of even Bitcoin, right? So we are still awaiting to see greed uh, be realized in this market. We almost hit it in 2021, but we did not see it at all. So this tells me that we still haven't seen our topping point. I, I, I foresee us running throughout the summertime into possibly topping around the fall time frame of September um, into roughly the you know months of like November and December possibly to repeat that 2017-2018 time frame. But I don't believe that that is the same. 
I don't think that we are going to look for a topping point around that time. We could even run into 2023, possibly. Uh, of course, I'm going to be, you know, watching the charts closely to see if those metrics are, you know, deemed, you know, we topped out or either we didn't top out. That's why I, I foresay to everyone, you want to be in the Discord at that time because I can't give you guys things right on time all the time, uh, but the Discord is very good for this and it is free. You don't need to pay subscription basis or anything like that. But as you guys do see where we currently are in terms of the, you know, unrealized profit and loss, we see exactly where we currently are. All right. We're in optimism, uh, optimism uh, slash anxiety. So things are looking pretty good still. I mean, there is a lot of fear throughout this market. There's a lot of uncertainty as well around, you know, where we are headed. Uh, but that's just because all coins are not doing anything right now. But I mind you, right, that currently when we look at the overall chart here, the funny thing is, is that on the weekly chart, I want to show you guys something pretty interesting. So we go back a little bit uh, specifically around, you know, you could say either the June time frame or you could go to the August time frame. During this time, we still seen sideways momentum before we seen spikes in the altcoin market, followed by sideways momentum, followed by a massive breakout event. Okay, we've seen some, I, I mean, I'm not going to say that we've seen some, I, I, we've seen a ton of moves throughout the altcoin market. Um, but when we look at things happening around where we currently are, I would say that this candle from November is a very, very similar candle uh, from the August time frame of 2017 before we went on this major move. Now, if we do repeat something like this, I can kind of show you guys exactly what we would be looking at um, if we did do a similar run to 2017 from our current structure. Now, mind you, things are going to look a little bit different in terms of this uh, bars graph. I don't usually like to utilize bars graphs too much, but we can kind of see, let me scale this out a little bit. We can kind of see where this would be if we did do a similar move from this time. Uh, it would take us to some pretty nice heights, but again, I'm not going off of bars graph specifically just because it doesn't make sense to. I would say though, my targets still for the altcoin market uh, in terms of heights could possibly be between three to $5 trillion. I don't want to go off of the bars graphs just because I know that it is not logical in a sense, but I would say we are basically in this time frame structure from that August time to around the January time where we did see a lot of alts uh, kind of move. It's hard to base the candles off of this though because we are at such massive heights in terms of where we are now. Uh, but we are seeing the sideways momentum that is kind of growing and it's long. It's a long awaited frustrating process that shakes a lot of individual individuals out that don't have patience. But we also seen this go on for some time. I mean, it wasn't a long, long time. If we actually look at this in terms of bars graphs compared to time, I think that the time would be better. So in terms of the daily candles, it was about roughly 70 daily candles. If we're looking at our current uh, structure that we are at from our topping point that we recently had in the altcoin market to where we are now, so let's actually go off of this candle here. Uh, we are, we're currently at about 175 days, which it's a lot longer from, again, our topping point, which makes a lot of people un, uh, or not, um, uncertain around altcoins. But I want you guys to understand that the longer that we trade sideways here, similar to this time frame back here, which, I mean, mind you, this is August to, you know, roughly November. Um... The longer that we trade sideways here, the more we have of a chance to push up even higher. You got to remember that back here, we didn't have that massive spike like we recently had. In fact, when we look at 2017, 2018, you could either go off of this time frame here, or you can go off of the time frame of like the May of 2017, all the way throughout this entire process. Because this is technically 175 days in total of a massive move from again the may time frame all the way to around uh november it's all how you want to look at it and kind of perceive it but i would say right now when we look at things happening we need that sideways momentum in the old coin market while bitcoin kind of does its thing that's why i always say like i'm not really focused too much on old coins because yeah sure we will have spikes but this is going to be a long sideways you know sort of momentum uh move the best way that i could show you guys this is you know, on XRP, right? We have this major impulsive move up, 
sideways momentum until we get that breakout event. Now again, is XRP going to is every altcoin going to follow the same structure of XRP? No. In fact, during 2017, 2018, we've seen a lot of altcoins during this time frame actually moving and pumping out um, of their lows. But I will say, as we are watching a lot of these charts, you know, we are going to most likely see that sideways momentum building until we do see again altcoins starting to move, which is going to most likely happen once we see Bitcoin dominance crashing. Now, mind you, in terms of Bitcoin dominance, I actually want to show you guys something pretty significant here. Uh, so in terms of Bitcoin dominance, we are seeing this sort of move down, which is going to allow uh, some altcoins to start to move a little bit, which is why we probably seen Algo uh, pump up to about almost 75 cents. But we are still gaining some traction here and building support and we're bouncing off of the 10 day EMA. Now, I'm hoping that we actually hold this level. I know that that's pretty you know, weird to say because we are kind of rooting for Bitcoin here, but that is what we should be doing anyways. We want this to kind of pump out of this structure, break over the 200 day EMA and head to about 45 to 47 percent. The reason for this being is that this is actually going to move Bitcoin in terms of price and it's going to allow us to have that topping point on Bitcoin dominance to have that massive crashing point, which will lead us to again altcoin movement because a lot of altcoins and i actually have qnt here xlm hbar and even xrp they are in a really bad position in terms of you know a lot of people being fearful of taking positions on these maybe they're very bullish yes could we go a little bit lower 100 percent but a lot of these are just trading sideways because the altcoin market itself is in a sideways momentum and I want you guys to understand that when we look at things going on in this market currently, I would say that right now we had that nice little spike up, sideways momentum, sort of nice break uh, back up to the upside, followed by a sideways momentum. And uh, again, this is longer than our recent you know, time in 2017, 2018, but it still holds true, right? Where we had this nice spike up, sideways momentum, nice spike up, sideways momentum, waiting for that breakout event and right now we have that same exact structure being printed on the chart where we have this nice spike up sideways momentum spike up sideways momentum and we're waiting for that last pivotal moment where we could either you know head to about 2.74 trillion dollars all the way up to about like almost 4.41 trillion dollars or even possibly even higher depending on how much money actually flows into the space so with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, to notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, it's been a great time talking to you guys about things like this. I hope everybody had you know a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.